This is a very exciting find because the pterosaurs are extremely rare and not just in Australia but worldwide. It was found uh, 10 years ago by a gentleman called Len Shaw. So Len used to work for Richmond Council and he would be one of the front end loader drivers. On his lunch break he'd essentially fill up the bucket of the front end loader with water and it's sort of gently tip it onto a slopey area uh, of the quarry and one day he did that and lo and behold some uh, teeth sockets were staring back at him and he knew he was onto something and um, he called over the curator at the time of Chronosaurus Corner, Paul Stormcat, and um, they excavated it and that's it, that's the story of our pterosaur. A great part of this project is the University of Queensland being able to connect with Chronosaurus Corner in Richmond, so that's a little sort of community fossil museum that um, over the years through their connections and activities a lot of really exciting fossils have come to light. We heard they had some some nice pterosaur material so I was really excited to be able to offer Tim as a student to do the research on that because until the research is done and the specimens are interpreted they, they really are just rocks on the shelf. There's always more to find, there's always more ground to scratch through so I think there will be plenty more pterosaurs to find in the future.